Hello guys and welcome to Astrology Coaching by Anatoly. Today we are going to discuss Retrograde Mercury, the last one for 2020. It starts on 14th of October and it will be retrograde the 3rd of November. And according to Vedic Astrology, it will be in the sign Libra, which is very important. Okay, what is Mercury? Mercury is the planet of communication the planet of short distance traveling, business, deals, contracts, information, intellect. This is the prince in Vedic astrology. This is the sexless planet. Uh, if you don't know, according to the mythology, uh, Mercury is sexless. Um, but if you are watching the channel, you understand why. I have special video about all the planets. They are coming soon. So I will not tell you now why Mercury is sexless. You will wait for the real video for Mercury, okay? So, when Mercury is retrograde, it causes uh, ha chaos uh, and uh, uh, distraction and chaos. Is this the English chaos? Chaos? Okay, problems in the communication, problems in the transport and traveling, problems with uh, communication between people, problems with business deals, contracts, maybe you have less profits in your profit in your business, problems with all devices linked to communication. Uh, problems, of course, with uh, information. Maybe there will be false information, a word of lies, gossips, and this will create a big chaos in the information. So, what is Libra? I forgot to say. Libra is the sign of love and romance, of partnership, of business partnership, contracts, and the other people. So, retrogression of Mercury in this sign can cause a lot of problems in your personal relationship and a lot of problems in your business relationship. Just be careful. And before starting with all the Ascendant, I just want to mention that the power of the retrograde Mercury depends entirely on your natal chart. I know I love watch. If you're watching this video, just keep in mind that this is just a general, general explanation of this transit of this retrograde transit if you want to know the real power of this retro retrograde mercury you need to know your natal chart it depends where exactly in your um, in your chart mercury is retrograde are there any planets where is your natal mercury this is very important which uh, where is the ruler of libra um, this is uh, very important too. You have to know in which dasha, in which planetary period you are at this point. If you are in a planet period of Mercury, for sure you can feel the retrograde Mercury to 100%. But if you are not in the dasha of Mercury, maybe you will feel it around 30, maximum 40%, depending again on your natal chart. Just keep this in mind. This is very important. Um, because we have to be real and we have to say the truth. Without knowing your natal chart, you just have to watch this and have in your mind that this is a general, general explanation. And everything depends on your chart. Okay, let's start now. Okay, so I have my hints here. I wrote uh, not to forget any ascendant. So the first ascendant is Aries. So for Aries, retrograde Mercury will be in your seventh house. So seventh house is the house of spouse. Seventh house is the house of marriage, business partnership. Be careful with the communication with your spouse, with your partner. Be careful with your business contracts and deals. There can be some problems. There can be some misunderstandings. Be careful. If you are single, someone from the past can come and can contact you through communication, through online communication, and to want, maybe he or she will want to be with you again. Just be careful. Don't take decisions before Mercury gets uh, direct, okay? For the next ascendant, next ascendant is Taurus. So for Taurus people, uh, Mercury will be retrograde in your sixth house, the house of work, 
and health. So be careful with your colleagues, be careful how you communicate, be careful with the people that you meet in your daily life. Don't be very rude, be respectful. And if you go to a doctor and there is some diagnosis, uh, just uh, go to another doctor for, uh, for just to check uh, again, because there can be some misinformation, this can be false diagnose, and this can uh, create just uh, additional problems. So, if there is a, really some any some kind of diagnose that uh, that you don't like or you're not sure, you you need to check it with another doctor, and maybe it's better to be when Mercury is direct because. When the mercury is retrograde, this causes chaos and uh, problems with the information, and maybe the diagnosis is not correct. Okay, for people for ascendant Gemini, mercury will be retrograde in your fifth house, the house of love and romance, the house of children. So be careful how you communicate with your, with your children, and maybe someone from the past can appear to you to your love, uh, to your life, I'm sorry. So someone from the past can come back to, to your life related to love and romance, why not? If you have, uh, if you are dating, be careful how you are dating, be careful with your romantic side and don't create additional issues, okay? And don't start, uh, don't invest money at this point, don't start new things. Uh, wait till Mercury is direct, okay? So, for cancers, retrograde mercury will be in the fourth house. This is mother, the house of the mother and the house of your home. So, don't buy anything, any new devices uh, in your home. They will, there will be problem with them. Don't buy cars, lands, properties. This is not the time. Be careful how you communicate with your mother. For Leo ascendant people, mercury will be retrograde in your third house, the house of communication. The house of hobbies, the house of your siblings, problems with the communication with the siblings, problems with the communication online. Be careful how you communicate, what you post in your, in your uh, on social media. Uh, and of course, uh, be, the, be careful with your business because third house is the house of your business too. And uh, don't start new business at this point, okay? The next ascendant is Virgo. Retrograde Mercury will be in your second house, family and money. Be careful how you spend your money. Be careful how you communicate with your family. Don't argue about, uh, for your family values because second house is your family values. Be careful what you speak because your speaking can create issues and miscommunication and problems with your relatives and problems with uh, other people, of course. Be careful what you, you are saying because second house is the house of your mouth. Uh, for Libra Ascendant, Mercury will be retrograde on your Ascendant. This is very important. Don't take big decisions for your, for your life, okay? This is not the time. Of course, I repeat for maybe 10 times, but it depends on your natal chart. Still, don't take uh, big decisions for your life. Now it's time just to um, look in yourself inwards to figure out what you want in your life and when Mercury is direct, you will go forward and make your dreams come true. Okay? <laughs> for the next Ascendant, Next Ascendant is Scorpio. So here, Scorp uh, for Scorpio Ascendant, Mercury will be retrograde in your 12th house. Don't, if you're planning to go far away, you have to do it before 14th of October because traveling, there will be issues with the traveling, problems with the transport uh, probably, or problems with communication with foreigners. If you go to hospital, again, there can be some false information. Be careful, check the diagnose if you have any, if you have diagnosed during this retrograde mercury, check it with another doctor too, okay? For Sagittarius, mercury will be retrograde in your 11th house, house of income and gains. It's not time to make your dreams come true, now it's time to work and prepare to think over them, over your dreams and then when the mercury is direct, go and make your dreams come true. Be careful how you communicate with your professional circles. There can be issues or issues with your friend circle and this can cause problems with your income or inc uh, decreasing, not increasing, decreasing of your income. 
For people with Capricorn Ascendant, may retrograde Mercury will be in your 10th house. This means that problems with the communication with your managers and bosses. Be careful, don't be too bossy, respect their decision or at least wait till 3rd of November. It's not time to ask for promotion at this point because it will be declined or this promotion will cause more, pro more problems in your life, okay? Uh, for Aquarius Ascendant, um, retrograde Mercury will be in your ninth house. So if you are going to if you are going to travel, you have to organize everything before 14th of October. Problems with the communication with the father, problems with the um, uh, education, and don't argue about your religion, your belief system, about your philosophy and uh, ideology. It's not time to argue about this thing. Respect other people's opinion and their belief system. Okay? And for Pisces, retrograde Mercury will be in your eighth house. So there can be some problems with the communication with the family of your spouse. Don't take other people's money and uh, don't, don't start a big change in your life at this point. You have to look inwards, see where the problems are now and try to, pre to prepare yourself to heal them after Mercury is direct. Just now focus on yourself, focus what kind of changes you want you know, in your life, what kind of uh, wounds you need to heal. And then when Mercury is direct, you heal them, you change them, and then you can begin changing your life and transforming yourself. Okay? So, this was the video for all ascendants. It's very hot. I'm, <laughs> I'm shooting the video during August. It's in August. I'm preparing everything because now it's retrograde uh, period uh, of Jupiter and Saturn and according to my Dasha, I have to wait till 28 of, till all the planets are direct and then I can start posting the video. So everything that I'm doing is uh, uh, calculated according to my chart firstly and according to my Dasha period, which is very important. I want to mention that because um, the Dasha determines when and what to do and how the things will uh, happen, okay? If you have any comments or if you have any questions, please leave a comment below this video. I will try to respond as soon as possible. This is just the beginning. Hey you, you beautiful YouTuber. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you like it. I want you to invite you to become part of the family of astrology coaching by Anatoly and together, together like a big online family, we're going to make our dreams come true. We're going to change our lives thanks to astrology and spiritual coaching. New videos are coming every, every week. This is just the beginning. So we together, we are going to make our dreams come true and like and like the lotus flower, we will rise from the mud of our pain and we will blossom in happiness and fulfillment. Thank you for watching and see you soon.